Hey there, boys and girls. I know that over the last couple days, you have watched Miss Ginger, one of my favorite kindergarten teachers, um, remind us how we used to, at the very beginning of the year, tell stories. But now it's time for us to think about what kind of things can we do over the summertime. Boys and girls, I want you to make sure that you keep writing over the summer because the more you write and the more you read and the more you practice your snap words, the better you're going to be for that first grade teacher. And remember, I want us to be the best group of first graders that that first grade teacher gets. So what I thought I would do today with you guys is remind you of all the things that we've been doing as writers. So I made a special little chart right here. Here it is. When we write, and even over the summertime, we can write. You don't have to wait for mommy and daddy to tell you. You don't have to wait for your teacher to tell you. Now it's time for you guys to kind of try on your own. Listen, I tell Brayden all the time that he's got to learn to practice things on his own so that he can become the baseball player that he wants to be. If you don't practice, remember we've talked about this before in class too, if you don't practice, you cannot be your best, okay? And so over the summertime, I'm going to practice writing, and I hope that you will practice writing with me. Okay, so let's just go on and go over the things that we've been, all the things that we have learned to do for writing. We've learned about writing stories. Remember, at the very beginning of the year, we learned to write stories, and just for the last couple days, Miss Ginger has reminded us how to write stories. You can write signs and posters. Remember to tell people about things that you want to change. You can write letters, letters to make people change things, or even just letters to talk to people and share. You can make a, write a letter and then go put it in your grandma's mailbox, or you can write a letter and put it on your mom and daddy's bed. Write a letter about things to change things, or just to, you know, just to say I love you and tell all the reasons why. We've learned to write all about books just recently while we've been out together. And we also learned how to do how-to books where you got to teach somebody how to do something. All right. So during the summertime, when you want to write, all you have to do is think of, hmm, what kind of writing do I want to do today? Do I want to write a story? Do I want to write a sign or a poster? Do I want to write a letter? Do I want to write all about? Do I want to write a how-to? And then you go grab some paper and you get busy writing. You don't have to wait for somebody to tell you what to do. You can do any of these things. So I was thinking about a problem that Brayden has in his bathroom. When Brayden gets busy in his bathroom, taking a shower or whatever, and he gets into the shower, he leaves a big old mess on the floor. He leaves all of his dirty clothes in the bathroom and his wet towel laying on the floor. And so I was thinking maybe I might write a sign and put it and hang it on Brayden's um bathroom wall. So as I'm thinking about that, I want to think about what can I do to show Brayden what he needs to do um, when he's got done taking a shower. So I can draw in his bathroom. He's got this laundry basket that he puts his laundry in. Now imagine he has his laundry basket and he does not put his laundry in it. All right? So here's his little laundry basket. It's got these little right? All right. And there's no clothes in here. But instead, his clothes are wadded up on the floor. Like, so it might be his, his shorts and maybe even a shirt might be on the floor, right? And then his, his towel, right? And so I may go like something like this where I'm going to show him how to put it into the laundry basket. And so I'm going to say clothes, cl, cl, clothes, clothes. And then I'm going to do laundry, oh, laundry basket, b, ask it. All right, laundry basket. And then I'm going to might do like this. I'm thinking like he needs to really know that he needs to put his dirty clothes in the laundry basket. So I'm gonna make this like this. I'm gonna write put. <clears throat> Ooh, but I may make this really dark. So let me do this. Put. Put your 
clothes. Oh, clothes. Put your clothes in the laundry basket. All right, so I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna take my, my, my note, my, um, my sign that I made, and I'm gonna go tape it up in Brayden's um, bathroom, and maybe he'll remember to put his clothes in the laundry basket. All right, so I could do that. I could also do, a Brayden, a how-to, like how to put your laundry in the laundry basket. Or I could write him a letter and put it in his bedroom, like, Dear Brayden, I do not like that you're leaving your dirty laundry all over the floor. You need to put it in the basket because, right, because it makes your room look, your mat, your bathroom look messy when you don't. And also, you're going to get in trouble if you don't put it in a laundry basket. So please be sure to put your laundry in the laundry basket from now on. Love, Mom. I could even write a story about it. One day, um, we had company to come over, and I went in to check Brayden's bathroom, and it was a mess. It had laundry everywhere, and I could write a story. All right? So, boys and girls, over the summertime, I want you to spend some time practicing your writing. Practice writing some stories, write some signs, write some letters, um, maybe even all about whatever is your favorite kind of writing. Just go for it. Just write all you want to. All right, boys and girls, I hope that you have a great summer and that you keep writing and you keep having fun with learning. I love you very much. Bye.